We have some new stock Windows 10 Pro retail keys. Still the low price of $12.50. Get them before they are sold out. You can find the link in the video description if you would like to purchase one. Hello, I'm Brian Karras, Technical Director of Graphics here at Epic Games. Hi, I'm Jérôme Plateau, Art Director of the Special Project. A few years ago, we got together as a team and brainstormed where we thought we could push forward the state-of-the-art in real-time graphics. There were two key areas that stood out. The first, dynamic global illumination. Beautiful bounce lighting instantaneously. I don't have to be constrained to do a game where the world has to be static, and I'm able to iterate a lot faster. And we call this new system Lumen. We are about to show you what it is capable of. But first, there was another area that we thought we could push forward, truly virtualized geometry. The artist wouldn't have to be concerned over poly counts, draw calls, or memory. We could directly use film quality assets and bring them straight into the engine. And that's a big deal for artists. I just want to be able to import my ZBrush model, my photogrammetry scan, my CAD data without wasting any time optimizing, creating LODs, or even lowering the quality to make it hit frame rate. In the end, that's what it's all about. Art that just works. And we call this new technology Namite. Here is the future of Unreal Engine running live on a PlayStation 5. Awesome. Let's take a look at it. This has to be the right way. Before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key features of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets, but instead of using the game versions, we use the cinematic versions which would typically only be used in film. They are around a million triangles each, and thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. Nanite can render an insane number of triangles very quickly. There are over a billion triangles of source geometry in each frame that Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. These are the triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. This amount of geometric detail requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and Nanite can do that too. Speaking of lighting, all of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic, with the power of Lumen that even includes multi-bounce global illumination. No light maps, no baking here. Without GI, all of that beautiful lighting is gone. With Lumen enabled, we can move the light and the bounce changes instantly. Okay, let's keep going. We've made some great additions to our audio system as well. Convolution Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sampled, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. Ah! <laughs> 
This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. We've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. The demo runs on our chaos physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. Now that the environment is so complex, we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. That's promising. Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on gameplay. Nice Any light touch. source can move while Get still having paint. beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. Remember we mentioned high poly assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. No baking of normal maps, no authored LODs. And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. With Mana, you have limitless geometry, and with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global illumination, all running on a PlayStation 5. doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. The portal is open. Don't fail me now. to see what's next.
It's amazing, Epic Games did announce Unreal Engine 5. And as you saw on these videos, um, it's amazing that it actually runs real time on the PlayStation 5, this demo. And also the features that, an example, no normal maps are needed anymore, no lots are needed anymore, the polygon count doesn't really matter anymore. And also the texture quality of these Quixel Megascans textures, they look so fantastically that I think this is definitely a revolution maybe even in, in game uh, game design and how things can run on a next generation console. So this is no uh, rendered footage from Unreal Engine 4. I mean, we've seen all the Unreal Engine 4 demos and it looks super, super amazing. But all the time uh, the lighting, or at least in the, in the best looking uh, showcases, the lighting was rendered and it was never real time. And what we've seen only in Unreal Engine 4, mostly about the true realistic, true realistic graphics are only the showcases. We've seen some Unreal Engine 4 games, which looks very good, uh, which look very good. An example, Hellblade. Uh, but most, most of these games weren't really the quality that we've seen in the showcases. And I am super, super excited for Unreal Engine 5 because I did start to learn Unreal Engine 4 a little bit. And um, yeah, I, I was um, pretty much bumping into the difficulty, an example of the lots, uh, of the normal maps, I mean, as well. And it's pretty, it's not super easy. I mean, I've worked with Unreal Engine 1 um, back at the end of the 90s. And from there, it was also not easy, but it was a lot more easier to work with textures and lighting and stuff like that. The creation of brushes and all was a bit more complicated and also a bit uh, more unstable, but textures and all that stuff was uh, very, e at least pretty easy to learn, even while the work was, yeah, it was a lot more than an Unreal Engine 4. But Unreal Engine 5, hopefully it will bring back both uh, the best of both worlds from the easy to use way of lighting and lots and the uh, very great tool uh, which Unreal Engine 4 has become the, the, the engine to uh, start creating things. So I am super, super excited. And if we can expect this kind of graphics on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, I do also definitely hope, of course, we get it to PC. I mean, um, probably the next generation of graphic cards should be able to run this and yeah it are pretty exciting times if you can imagine that maybe this stuff is coming to 2021 and it would be fantastic in an example uh, bethesda or some other great companies are going to use unreal engine 5 with the quixel mega scans because relatively seen it's a lot easier work because they uh, easier to work with because they don't need to capture their assets their cells because that's what what's normally always uh, one of the most time consuming things for a company is to capture all their assets you know their textures the models now it's not needed because they have quixel with unreal engine so they don't need to create a new engine unreal engine can do that so fantastic promising looking times i'm really looking forward to 2021 and let's hope you know maybe the elder scrolls 6 or uh, yeah any other similar games will use this technique i think the first game which might use it is hellblade 2 um so i'm pretty curious if they did create that with unreal engine 4 or unreal engine 5 uh, but yeah exciting times for the future and i hope you guys think that as well uh, let me know in the comment section what you thought of these unreal engine 5 demos and Let's hope we see something wonderful, uh, which has been created by Unreal Engine 5 pretty soon for the next gen consoles and the new uh, next gen line of computer components for the PC, of course. So for the rest, stay safe during these times and hope to see you guys at one of my next videos.